We all know that confidence and charisma are really important parts of scoring highly on an MMI interview, but it doesn't always come naturally. Some of us are shy, some of us don't like talking loudly, and some of us would rather sit alone reading a book or playing games than talking to someone else. Regardless of who you may be though, I'm here in this video to share with you six ways that I improved my confidence, charisma, and overall appearance in my medical interviews that ultimately helped me get into medical school. Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Emil, and I'm a first year medical student studying at Monash University in Melbourne, Australia. And without wasting any time, let's get straight on to the first tip, which is speaking through a smile. So speaking through a smile is something I actually heard for the first time from Ali Abdal, and he mentioned it in the context of YouTube videos and making yourself seem more natural on camera. However, since then, I've realized that this advice actually applies really well to interviews because I think a lot of people, including myself, sit down for their interviews and enter this sort of serious interviewee mode. And as a result, they forget to smile and then they end up looking not engaged or a bit too serious while they're speaking. What speaking through a smile does is it makes it seem like you're enjoying what you're talking about, which instantly makes you seem so much more confident and engaged with the conversation that you're having with the interviewer. Obviously, when you're doing this, you want to try and do it as naturally as possible. So you don't want to finish your sentence and then suddenly force a smile through because you realize that you forgot to smile while you were speaking. And also make sure that you know when to be serious because when you're discussing some sort of terrible issue that might be occurring, you also don't wanna be smiling or looking like you're laughing while talking about it. The second tip I have to improve your confidence during the interviews is to actually take long pauses. When I first started preparing for my interviews, I realized that I stopped and started really often and then as a result, I'd actually disrupt the flow of my sentences. I know that a lot of you might have the same issues or feel the same way and the biggest thing that helped me when I was stopping and starting in my sentences was just to take a really long pause before the start of my sentence. What taking a pause actually allows you to do is it gives you a couple of seconds before you start your sentence to actually think about what you want to say. More often than not, the interviewers won't even realize that you're taking a pause, or if you do take a pause, they'll just look up and then by the time they realize that you're taking a pause, you'll have started speaking again. As a result, I think taking pauses before speaking is actually a very powerful tool for helping you have proper flow in your sentences and also making you seem more composed and confident if you ever make a mistake in a sentence. The third tip I have to increase your confidence in interviews is to improve your body posture. As I've done a little bit of work as a mock interviewer interviewing candidates, I've realized that body language actually makes quite a big difference in how you come across to your interviewer. Specifically, I really encourage everyone to puff out their chest a bit when they're speaking because one, that allows you to project your voice a lot more and it can make your voice seem more powerful. Secondly, by puffing out your chest, you can have a more imposing presence either on camera or in person for your interview. And as a result, the interviewer will see you as having more of a presence and having more of that confidence that you need. Thirdly, I also think that your posture is a reflection of your mental state. And if you're feeling nervous and shy, it's almost natural that your posture will sort of shrug down and become really small. But if you thoughtfully puff out your chest, take a little bit more space with your posture, this is almost a signal to your brain that you are actually confident for the interviews which can help you to foster that sense of confidence. If you've enjoyed the tips so far, I would really appreciate it if you could smash the like button on this video and maybe consider subscribing to the channel or checking out my weekly email newsletter in the description box down below. My fourth tip for improving your confidence in interviews is actually to treat it like a conversation with a role model. For me, I think this was a really significant mindset shift because before I used to treat the interviews a bit too seriously as if I was sort of being grilled and I had to answer questions almost as if it was an exam. However, once I took that step of starting to think of it like a conversation, I realized that I could relax a lot more, I could be more genuine with my answers, and as a result, I seemed more confident, more at ease, and more easy going to the examiner. The way I like to think about it is imagine that the interviewer is a role model who's maybe a couple years older than you, and you're going out to lunch with them and you want to impress them with the things that you're saying. As a result, when you're answering the questions that the interviewer would ask you, you wouldn't sort of treat it like a short answer question in an exam, 
you'd rather actually speak to them really genuinely and show them your true interests and what you really believe. Taking this mindset shift really allowed me to stop being so stiff and serious in my interviews and help me as a result to become more genuine and easygoing when answering questions. The fifth tip I have to improve your appearance in the interviews is to increase your energy level. What this means is I like to think of my usual conversational voice, the ones that I'd use between friends or with my family members as a five on a scale from one to 10. If I was, for example, feeling really tired in the morning, or really low energy at night, then my energy levels might be a two or three on the scale of one to 10. But for example, if I was doing a speech at a public speaking competition, or if I was speaking in a debate, then my speaking tone would probably be a little bit more like an eight or nine out of 10. Using this scale and relating it to the interviews, I think that you should up your usual energy level from about a five to about a seven or eight when you're talking to interviewers. What this stops you from doing is speaking in a monotonous voice or not seeming very engaging while speaking to the interviewer because you're forced to put in way more energy when you're actually speaking. When you put in this extra energy, the interviewer will almost certainly think that you're way more engaging and way more confident. And as a result, you'll probably be more likely to get a better mark on your interview. The final tip I have for improving your confidence in the interviews is to actually make an interview persona. Now, the way I like to think about an interview persona is it's a version of myself that I present in interviews interviews like job interviews or when I'm speaking to role models that is a different version of me to when I'm talking to my friends. The reason I find that making an interview persona is really helpful is because when you're going into an interview, you can sort of treat it with a different mindset because you know that you're only going to be in your interview persona for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. What you want to do is create this interview persona who's sort of separate from yourself who has all of these good qualities that an interviewer is looking for. They'll be confident, they'll be engaging, they'll be very fluent when speaking, and they'll have lots of examples of times where they did work experience, or they can think of times that relate to the interview questions. Once you have this alternate persona, I think it becomes so much easier to perform in the interviews because it's almost like the pressure isn't on you, it's on that other person. And it also means that when you enter the interviews, you're entering that persona and you're not worried about other things that might be affecting you. Those were the main six things that I found gave me so much confidence when it came to the interviews and allowed me to speak in a way that was so much more engaging to my interviewer. If you wanna see a video where I explore the four most common question types in the interview, make sure to check out this video here and also consider subscribing to the channel for more of this content.